So the minute that front rims and then the uh, the the Celtics win and Steve Kerr and the and the staff start grinding tape on the Celtics, what do you think they're seeing that concerns them the most for this matchup, <laughs> Tom? We're seeing a lot of big athletic bodies that can really defend the the Boston Celtics are unlike most teams in that there is not one person you could find in that starting lineup that you could pick out and try to go at defensively. I mean, these guys are really, really good. Smart, Brown, Tatum, Horford, Williams. I mean, they can all defend. And they can all switch off if they have to. And they can all stay in front of players. They all have length. They can all get into you and be physical. So they're really, I mean, they're the best defensive team in the league. And the numbers prove it. And they were by far and away the best defensive team in the league after the first of the year. So it's going to be, it can be tough. But the Warriors have a great defense too. They're probably the two best defensive teams in the league. So points might be at a premium in this series. Uh, the Warriors, I think, have a little more, just a little more diversity offensively, and maybe a little more firepower offensively than the Celtics, but. It's going to be, I think it's a coin flip. I really do. I think it's going to be a great series. Uh, it's what I, was, I was kind of hoping for this one, mm. just because it's the Celtics have the most championships in NBA history. And I just, I, I, I grew up on Celtics Lakers. So Celtics in the finals is like kind of a cool, cool thing. And the fact that the Warriors get to face them. Not sure if the coaches feel the same way. I <laughs> think they're like, I'm like, gee, I'm going to score on these guys. These guys, they held them to 32 points at home earlier this year. 32, the Warriors had them, and they just suffocated. They couldn't couldn't do anything against them. And then the second half, Steph got hurt at the end of the first half, and they ended up losing. But I mean, they're good. I mean, they're. It, it, I'm excited about this finals. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, tactically speaking, athletically speaking. Speaking, Brown and Tatum are, are studs, and Smart is uh, Smart's basically Draymond Green. He's a six-four Draymond Green, is what he is. He plays a different position, but he's super smart, super physical, uh, knows what he's doing out there defensively. So, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm excited. I, I can't wait. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I think they're going to be close games, uh, tight games. Maybe not super high scoring, but. Should be a fun series. Although Draymond plays the point sometimes too, so you know, yes, so, he does. so 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 yes, Horford's in the game. Does who does Dray? What you put Looney on him, and what, are we going to see Draymond on Tatum sometimes? I mean, like, what do you what do you uh, see? What do you see there? Well, it's interesting because in the NBA now they just run pick and roll until they figure out who they want on you. <laughs> uh, that's, that's all it is. It's like a high pick and roll league. Right. You watch basketball now. If you don't like high pick and rolls, you might as well turn it off. And, Go watch something else because you'll see about a thousand of those every game. Uh, now, Draymond's not a guy you try to get on you. Draymond's the guy you try to get off of, right. off of you. But I would imagine they'll match up, you know, by position. A lot of times you'll see in games where it gets, you know, depending on if a guy can score or not, they'll put a guard on him because they know you're not going to go to him. But I would think it'll be, you know, Steph on Smart, Clay on Brown, Wiggins on Tatum. Mm. Draymond on Horford and then Looney on Williams. I would I would think that's the way they'll go. I mean, you could flip flop five and four if you wanted to. You could flip flop uh, Draymond and Loon, but the other ones got to be. I mean, they got. But again, they're going to be able. So everybody's got to guard somebody a little bit. But what the Warriors did a really good job of last game, they kept trying to get uh, switch Curry onto Doncic, and what they did is they called a hedge, and Curry would hedge out and stay until Wiggins got back. So he allowed Wiggins enough time to get back, and then he would fire back to, to his guy or go to the middle of the paint and then rotate out. But they weren't going to let him just go at, go at Steph. So I don't know what the Celtics would do. I, mean, I would imagine let's try to go at Steph a little bit because he's not a bad defender at all. He's just the weak link on this team. I mean, it, it's a really good defensive team, so... Uh, yeah, I would, I would think uh, Dray, but Dray, look, Draymond, if you watch Draymond, uh, you take a few series and just watch him. He always has his head on a swivel. He always sees what's going on, and he's always able to come over and help. Like, if somebody gets beat, he's there. He just knows what's going on, and I find myself sometimes just watching him. 
I won't even watch the ball. I'll just watch Draymond and kind of watch him and see what he does on the defensive end. It really is kind of fun. I, I know people are like, well, you're kind of weird. But, yeah, I am. But still, <laughs> it's pretty cool to do, and you understand him a lot better as a player if you do that. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.